Oh, I've got paint in my hair. <laughs> Well, hello there. I've just finished one of Kylo Ren. There he is. Looks pretty cool, I think. But it made me really want to do uh, another mashup. I was just going over loads and loads of things to do with the robots or the uniforms, the Stormtrooper stuff. Vader. Then I thought, what else is iconic is, is Princess Leia's hair. So this mashup, I thought I'd take the hair and put it on someone who's very, very famous, making someone into Leia. The face needs to be very iconic and the pose needs to be very iconic. I think the two, in my opinion, most iconic women is Marilyn Monroe and Audrey Hepburn. I thought it would work better with Audrey. So, this is the plan. I think I'm going to use this picture, which is Audrey Hepburn with her uh, cigarette holder. And then taking Princess Leia's hair, probably from a shot like this. Taking that hair, popping it on that head. Oh, I could maybe put a blaster in her hand as well. Can I take out the cigarette, put a blaster in the hand? Might be quite good. And then I was trying to think about the background. I was like playing around with these or the, the Star Wars colours. Lots of uh, blues and blacks and stars. And then I found one of the really old 1960s, I think 61, Breakfast of Tiffany's came out. Promotional poster there, you can see it. Which has got this wicked like 50s, sort of, well, the transition from the 50s to 60s border. So I'm thinking having Audrey there with her layer hair and then this border in the background. Uh, I've never paid Audrey Hepburn very much. I don't know a few times, like everybody who has ever picked up a paintbrush has. But this is going to reinvigorate it. I like doing things to very popular images because if you take a popular image which people know so much, it's like passing by a tree. You don't even really look at it. Audrey Hepburn, Breakfast at Tiffany's, Kirk Cobain smoking the cigarette with a guitar in his lap, Marilyn Monroe, obviously, Warhol ones, uh, James Dean, images that are so iconic that they are part of the background. So I do like the idea of changing the image slightly so you re-look at it, reassess it, but in this case you re-look at it, reassess it, you put the pieces together, and hopefully it gives you a giggle. Let's get on with another mashup. I'm really excited about it. Let's hope I don't fuck it up. base coats done on her. Very, very basic, just the base. So there's no black on there, there's no definition in the air, so if you're going close, that's pretty rough, especially if you look at the icing. Really, really rough. But I'm going to touch all that up later. Now the plan is to do this background, which is sort of a creamy colour. And then I'm thinking for the lines, I'm either going to mask and tape it down, and then do a light spray over it, or paint it by hand. I think spraying's preferable, so I get a nice finish, but I don't want to ruin the painting. But that's why I'm not doing all the detail yet, in case I get spray paint on it. I think this colour is what I want for the background, but this colour, unfortunately, has all dried up. So I'm going to have to remix it. I mean, that's just white bit of brown in there back later
this nice cream on the back and now I've got to do each of these a different colour. I think this one's blue, I've put a baby blue. This one is a yellow, sort of a gold. And that one's a red and that's yellow as well. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to risk it. I think I'm going to mask and tape off here and there and there and have what have you. And then spray these bits just to get a nice flat co uh, coat. Um, and then if anything bleeds out, I should be able to touch it up with the uh, cream. It's good. through this painting uh, as you can see I've done all the base coats now which took ages so all of her base is done the things that need doing now are this black needs redoing this black is um, Winder and Newton and this stuff is I love it because it's very matte but also it's it's got a quality control issue and this pot I've got seems to be drying in different different colors everywhere so I'm gonna go over that with a better black I'll probably use um, the Liquitex one Kind of, kind of like this one, basics. Really hard to get hold of in England. Easy to get hold of the rest of the world, apparently. Anyway, so I'm gonna do that black and then I'm gonna go back into it now with the paint pen, these guys, um, and put loads of definition in all the eyes, the gum, the um, lips, the hair especially, and that'll make it less flat. It'll make it all pop out a bit, especially the lips and the eyes and the hair. It'll balance it better. And then give the cream another go and then we're done. So. Now it's on to adding all the detail and, um, and what really brings it to life. I'm really happy with how she's going at the moment, which is a bit worrying um, because usually when I find I'm happy with something, it's going to go tits up. But so far it's going okay. So let's, uh, let's get the hair done and then we'll see how it goes. Exciting! Gloomy lady, wish list, yes I have one, but it's a secret you won't know.
Audrey, Princess Leia, I think we'll call her Princess Leia Hepburn. Yeah, that's pretty good. I love this mashup, I think it came out so bloody well. It's ridiculous, it was such a simple idea, um, but it's come out really well. Using things that are so iconic, when you put them together they sometimes work or they don't, and this time it worked. I loved every minute of it. The background was an absolute pain in the ass to do, and it took forever. The whole painting took forever, but I think that was just because I was being very precise and detailed. I love the painting, I hope you enjoy this video. I really enjoyed filming this video and doing updates for it. Uh, please let me know what you think about the painting down below. Any other videos or things you want to see, let me know. Um, and of course, subscribe to my channel. By subscribing, that means you will you, you'll be rewarding yourself for watching this video. And uh, um, uh, follow me over on all the social media stuff. And I shall see you in the next video next week soon. I hope. Goodbye, art nerds. Take care.